Thank you for joining. Okay. Hi, Brian. Hello, hello. All right. Hmm. Hi. This is Marco speaking. I am Max's higher self. Today, we'll be speaking a little bit about the hero's journey. You come to this world to become a hero, to go into the darkness, obtaining the treasure, and bringing this treasure to the world. You play this game of becoming a Christ, of bringing a treasure to the world. Each of you has this opportunity. Each of you can do it. Each of you is entitled. Each of you deserves to become a hero. Each of you can transform the world. And together, you do transform the world. Mm -hmm. Until this moment, it might have seemed that things are going down. It might have seemed that these things are going down smoothly, but now you see the drama is there. So your hero's journey, your mission becomes much more clear. The opportunity comes, the drama comes, the change is coming. You are on a shift in sense. You got to jump. You got to jump. You got to take a breath and make a leap of faith and make a leap of faith. You might ask, how can everyone be a Christ? How can everyone be a hero? And the answer is simple. It's it's an illusion, it's elaborate, well-programmed, well-served illusion. So each of you can enjoy the highest achievement. Each of you can enjoy the highest potential. Each of you can develop to, the, to your wildest dreams. Each of you gets the drama you deserve. You dive in the drama, you are thrown into a drama, so you can become a hero. Are there any questions? Hello, everybody. Are there any comments, topics? This is Ma, Max is her self, Maku. You can call me Maku. One of Max's higher selves. Hey, Angie. Angie asks, has the economy collapse begun? This future is not determined. The dominoes are ready to fall. It's your collective consciousness that decide when and how it will happen. <clears throat> now the drama develops. It, it is synchronized with similar dramas of the past. 
it is synchronized with similar dramas of Atlantis, <clears throat> of the fall of big empires, Ottoman Empire, Roman Empire, Persian Empire, Babylonian Empire, Chinese empires, Indian empires. English, British Empire. So this drama is played and play and replayed constantly. The rise of a populist leader is prototypical. The division of society is prototypical. You play and replay and replay the same drama over and over. But the air is different, the water is different, the sand is different, the souls are different, the technology is different, and the higher help is different, the whole vibration is different. Different. So the same drama is replayed on a new ground. Now you have raised to a new ground. Now there is tons more light workers that is tons more warrior workers on a higher level tons more sales people on a higher level and actually the lowest of the people still watch television still are involved they are not excluded anymore so the, the humanity the society is much more connected so the same drama will replay differently. You now realize how delusional every, everyone has been, right? How delusional. But on the other hand, you waited for that. You heard the predictions. You realized things are not going well. You realized the leadership is all not up to the task so now it's so much clearer so things actually come to the clear it it is part of the awakening economical collapse no one knows how it will go but look 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 at the previous collapses look at 1929 collapse Look at the collapse in the Greece, in Russia, in Southern American countries. Research that. It is the same drama, the same laws replayed over and over. And the timing sometimes is different, sometimes are laughably similar. And people get surprised, laughably, laughably similar surprised. The history is available. Look at it, look at it, look at it. It is part of ascension, part of liberation, part of the awakening, part of the uplifting. Now the society is clearer divided, divided much clearer. Some people say, we are good. And some people say, we are bad. And some people will say, we will teach you a lesson. And some people say, I'm doing bad because I'm good. So all of these are funny and educational. All of these are educational and tragic. The drama is developing. Hmm. Be financially wise. Speak to financial spirits. The norms the Elohim, the El, the element of Earth, the Earth, the Mother Earth, they are part of it. Another part of it is the dragon energy. No, dragon energy, dragons. The dragon is awakening. The dragon energy is awakening. Channel dragons, understand them. See 
that's their life. That's what they do. It's not they are praying on it. It's it praying on it. They are it. That's the dragon awakening. The big reptilian beast, the dinosaur, the enlightened dinosaur. It is awakening. It is coming here to play a part of the drama. And each of you can be a hero, the hero. Be financially wise. Invest, save financially wisely. Don't trust banks. They will close one day. Hmm. Cash will be up for a while and then possibly will be either replaced directly or will be devalued and then replaced, which is a typical way of doing things. But this time, the world is still electronic. The world is still tied. So most likely the collapse will not be complete and will not happen everywhere at once. It will be islands of prosperity, islands of conserved independence, islands of creativity, and islands of disaster. So be mobile, be wise, be prepared to move, be prepared to change jobs, be prepared to do dirty jobs, whatever is needed. Nurses are always needed. Fence builders are always needed in hard times. Socialize, can we connect to each other, connect one to one, one on one. Pick, pick people and connect to them locally and remotely. When people speak to you on the street, see maybe they are said to be connected. When people speak to you in a party, when people speak to you everywhere, connect directly. Link, link, link. Establish your network. Establish your wine tree to receive the rumors. Now, as the media becomes more and more detached from reality, rumors become much more valuable source of inside. Be aware. Any more questions? The speaking is Maku, one of Max's higher selves. The lessons, the lessons. The lessons are huge. You just start to unravel the lessons. You were learning until this point, no question. But now, this little, little turning point, which is obvious now, will be much more obvious later. Teach you tons of lessons. Who you are, what you want. Forgiveness, understanding. Understand the world is divided because some people are left in the past. The, the earth was were raising, raising the vibration, rising up, raising the vibration, rising up. But many souls were left behind. The majority of souls were left, left behind. When you are rising the vibration of the earth, you are light workers praying, meditating, dancing and gaining the momentum of the dance, gaining the momentum of the uplifting, connect, connecting. How many souls are scared? How many souls feel lost, left, threatened, threatened to be extinguished? You see, all this division is because of the fear of being left behind. It's called reaction. You pull up and then the spring goes down. You pull up and then the spring goes down. So this division actually unites the globe 
unites the humanity even more because of revelation, because of things being revealed, because of inner feelings being revealed, because of silent people being revealed. So many people are beyond, down beyond, beyond the veil down. You lift it up, you see the light, they are down the veil, be below the veil, not seeing the light. And they are scared and they speak up and finally they are heard. <laughs> Look at everything from the divine perspective. Enjoy the thought that bad things can actually be good. The bad things can actually be neutral. And the drama is a revelation. The drama reveals hidden. The drama reveals the level of delusion in which everyone has been. And now things are open, the cards are open, the door is open, the windows are open. Now you see much clearer where you are and who you are, where do you move, and where do everybody else move? Now, as you see them, forgive them. As you see them, connect to them on their fear, connect to them on their suffering, connect to them on their confusion and desires and understand what they want and why they are scared and forgive them. The choices have been offered. The choices are constantly being offered. You cannot change the whole world by your will, but you can save the whole world by your faith. You cannot force people to change the, themselves, to change their choice. That's their choice. The choice is respected. It's the law of this game number one, the principle. Everyone has their choice. Humanity collectively has the right of choice. So the spirit, God, the aliens are offering the answers, offering the vibrations, send in love and everyone can see that everyone can see the choice and they make their own choices and you can do the same you can offer love and let them do their choices the ascension will take generations but now is one of the finest finest acts of the drama finest Learn history, look at the history. Read books. Books are the pieces of art which carry much more refined, much more, they are much more transparent to the drama. Television, YouTube, movies are good, but books are the ones which have, between the words, between the lines, they carry the drama, which cannot be carried in any other way. Read books on history, read books on biography, and see how the previous dramas teach us something, teach you something. And take these lessons and bring this to this new drama, and you will be enlightened. Any more comments and questions? One other lesson, one other gift you received is coming with the, it is coming with the clarity. It is coming with the understanding who is who and who is on which side. That is the division line. And now it will be much, much, much easier for you to remain yourself. It will be much, much easier for you to be in your space because you are not 
muddled, polluted with the vibrations of others. They made their choices, you made their, your choice, and now you know who is on your side and who is on the other side. So the wall is built. The wall, it was constructed at once. And now it is peace on your side. You can enjoy the new vibration. It was one of the births. It was one of the separations which gave birth to the new bubble of reality, to the new pure vibration, to the new humanity. <laughs> More shakings, more division lines are coming, but this was a birth of one of the new bodies of energy. Basically, the soul, the collectives of the souls are making their choices. And the old humanity is separating from the new humanity and they overlap they don't separate completely, but they overlap, they interplay, but basically the upgrade has been done, now it is a separation. The separation, the umbilical cord, another umbilical cord of many is cut. So you are, you can enjoy the new vibration and you can enjoy new opportunities. You can enjoy new choices. Be wise in survival, but understand only the faith can carry you through. Only the guidance from above can carry you through. There is no way to think your future logically. Your mind is good for solving problems, but this problem is beyond your mind. This problem is beyond logic logic. Only the higher guidance can carry you through. In this hero's drama, only surrender to God, only surrender to angelics, surrender to your higher self, surrender to your spirit guides can carry you through. You cannot survive on yourself. It's, it just doesn't work this way. But when you rely on the guidance, you can breathe, you can be strong, you can move forward, you can drop the weight of fear, drop the baggage of fear, drop the baggage of anxiety, of stress. You can breathe, your cells can metabolize, your body can energize because you are being guided. You are being guided. You still have to make your choices, but you make your choices by surrendering. Every time you have to make a choice by surrendering and breathing and listening, breathing and seeing inside, breathing and looking inside. It's a perfect time to look inside and discover that a new you is being born. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Congratulations. You are, you have been born. Any more comments, questions? Yeah, um, I have one actually. Um, my I guess part... there is Can something wrong with the sound. I hear myself. Okay, let me try to change my sound card. Can you speak again? All right, now I can hear you. All right, speak up. Hello. Um, Yay. Yeah, I, I was wondering, um, say like my partner is very third dimensional and he needs to be, he's not very happy and as far as I know it's because he's not very spiritual, although I feel he needs to connect with that side of things um but he's got no idea of higher energies or fourth dimension or anything how would i get him to um become a bit more spiritual thank you for asking um 
do you mind uh, disclosing the day and month of your birth and his birth? Right. Mine is February the 10th and his is January the 23rd. Ah, ah beautiful, beautiful. Mm. All right. And uh, your favorite color and his favorite color. Mine would be rose pink, and his would probably be white. Uh, any color, color. Not white, not black. Any, not oh, gray. Okay. Um, I would say um, blue. Yes, yes, yes. Hmm. What is his highest excitement? Um, I have no idea, actually. He would probably say earning lots of money. Okay. And what he's talking about when he's not worrying about money? Um, probably um, football, maybe, because he supports the team. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, and uh, is he a good healer? No, no. Is he healthy? Um, fairly. Could do better, I think. Hmm. All right. Um, You see, everyone, you see, every, can you hear me? Can yeah. You hear me? yeah. yeah. Oh. You see, everyone is multidimensional. Everyone is connected to God. Everyone is connected to the elementals, to elementary part, elemental particles, elementary particles. Everyone has connections to everything on all chakras. But different souls at this stage of their lives are learning different lessons. It, his lessons are the lessons of solar plexus. He is rising from first two chakras to solar plexus. He is not yet in a heart chakra. He is there, that's his main. So if you drag him to the heart chakra, if you drag him to the God, he can be there with you for a short while, but then he will relapse back to the lower three chakras lessons because that's how his spirit is has grown. It's the vibration of the spirit. It's where from it is coming and where to it is coming. Uh, the attachment to the Sagittarius, the warrior, is expressed in the football. That's the lesson of, of the solar plexus, lesson of fighting, lesson of competition. And it is a happy fighting, happy competition, which is wonderful. And then the money is the first chakra. It's ground, being grounded, being connected to the earth, being connected to elementals. It's a gift to you to get you that connection to the ground so you can stay balanced. So it doesn't mean that he's undeveloped. It doesn't mean that he's retarded. It means that he comes here to serve you, to give you that grounding. So you can choose to accept that help. And as you help him, you pass through the lessons of the third chakra, you pass through the lessons of first three chakras. So you can guide him gently, offer him enlightenment 
how enlightenment in how to move from first to second to third and to the fourth and grow up. Basically, it's opening the heart chakra. So trust, love, compassion. That's his lesson of this life at that moment, at that moment, at this stage of development. So give him what he asks for. That where he struggles, where his current attention is, that's where you can help him, right? And uh, you also have the lower three chakras, so you can connect to him on these levels and use your higher connection to the spirits to download the upgrades, 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 upgrades. And as you hug, use your Reiki to upgrade his chakras. They're growing, they are developing. And uh, even he make, when he makes negative choices, it is still making choices. It's still working on the topics. So the sign, the negativity, positivity sign, the charge doesn't matter as much as in which topic, in which theme he is working. So the theme is predefined but his, by his spiritual design birth and life plan. So you really can change that. He can change it, but you really can change. You can affect it, but really can change. So he's working on his curriculum and you are given to him to guide him in his curriculum and he is given to you to support from lower chakras your curriculum. Any comments, questions? No, uh, uh, thank you very much for that. That's um, spot on. Thank you. Really helps. Brian, would you like to give a blessing if you can? Uh, yeah, can you hear me? Yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is it, uh, do you just want to do like a closing blessing or you want to keep going? That will be fine. We have 10, 12 minutes, whatever you like. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, hold on here. Lali. Li Lioko to wa Ni Shiliakati Ni Ale Kiakoa Ilia Saniaki to Wakia Tarani Kiakoa Tiki Ala Soko Show Tu Ni Kiakoata Ilana Yakotu Shukotua Ilian Yakotukua Asala No Ko to Knitikia Ili ala usun ili akata ili o utua ili anania shalaka tua yala sakadia ro lo uyakia aliana shukutua namaste we are the angels of the past we are the saints of the past it's our time to come now. We come now and it's our job to fix things. Be brave, be faithful, understand. You're in the right place and the right time. Do your service. Let us do our work. Trust us, we know what we are doing. Be strong, be strong, be strong. Don't worry about minor things. Don't worry about things of the past. See the future, see the help coming. We are here, we are with you. Be our hands, be our hearts, be our voice, speak up, amen. 
Amen. Any more blessings, comments, questions? The time of drama is the time of love. The energy of drama fires up your love. The element of fire is here. The element of fire, the fire breathing dragon, the element of fire, the warmth of love is here. The love in all its facets, in all its faces is fired up. The higher love the lower love, the hate love, the love love, the God love, the mother love, everything is fired up. Fire is an, ele an element of the beginning. The new birth has happened. The new things are being fired up. The light is brighter. The darkness recedes. Be that fire. Accept this fire. It's a gift of the ancients. It's yours. Amen. Hmm. Thank you, my dear. That's lovely. Thanks, Max. <laughs> Thank you for coming. It's nice to uh, have you. And thanks for the questions. Sorry for the sound. I didn't realize it was on my end. <laughs> All right. Talk to you. And ladies. Bye. Thanks again. <laughs>